So now you know. All right, everybody, welcome back to the show. Keeping it real hot and fresh, you know how I do. Now, tonight I have a very special guest for you tonight. Now, Science is Cold Records and working on their debut album, which is due in spring 2012. They're also known as, I can't believe I got it right, but I did. Also known as, got together summer of 2010 and they started recording in mid-July of 2011. Now, they're on their way to playing at many festivals all summer long in 2012 so you definitely want to stick around for this but here it's here tonight to tell us all about more of the of this inspiring band is the irish radio dj and tv presenter himself and also their manager james mahan now james that, that, that's your name right absolutely perfect um, mahan okay most people have gotten it wrong since since we've been here and uh we went to los angeles in january Really? And it was Mahone, it was Capone, Capone. it was Mahoney. Mahoney. But you got it just right? I got it right. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody. So this is the web review and also online live view of the, uh, of the, of the interview with also known as manager. So let's get this started. Now, I'm pretty sure most of y'all are wondering, also known as, uh, where did that name come from? What, what does it mean? Um, it's essentially AKA, spelled the way a six-year-old would say it. Mm -hmm. So ALSO. N O N A Z, and we wanted something that when you Googled it, mm -hmm. there would be nothing else. Really? Um, or when you searched for it on YouTube, there'd be nothing else. Yeah. Um, because a lot, a lot of bands' names, like say you've got a band called Avenue, or you've got something uh, similar to say, um, even Green Day. Um, if you Google Green Day, a lot right. of other things come up beside Green Day. Right. And um, we want something that would be marketable and that would work for promotions. Um, and it, it was easier. I, I, I'd done radio for three years and we were used to getting bands with bizarre names sending in demos that you never forget. And when they send in, sent in their demo, um, we weren't going to forget them very easily because we couldn't pronounce it for the right. to begin with. So, so, so unique is definitely the name of the game. Very unique. Okay, so with this band, they are they're an Irish band, correct? Mm -hmm. Irish band. And they're actually doing very, very well for themselves. I mean, very brilliant. Um, I, I looked at some of you know just uh, their success and I was really amazed. Um, for example, um, they already have like a regular slot at the top of the Irish MySpace charts, correct? Mm -hmm. um, also, they've been selling out all of their shows. Selling out all of the shows that just started in 2010. Mm -hmm. um, so where are some of the places that they've actually played so far? Um, they played in the Hill Grove, which is, which is a small venue mm -hmm. um, in the south of Ireland. And they played with Snow Patrol, who I believe have made it over here and charted with this. What's, what's the song I had? Snow Patrol. Snow Patrol. Um, they're the Irish band. They put me on the spot, y'all. I know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe you. They had a good song, right? It was, and, they played the <laughs> and we've also played in France. We just did two gigs in France last week. Now, how was that, playing in France? Very different to what we expected because they're not as mad and as lunatic -y as people mm -hmm. are in Ireland for music. Um, they, but the whole idea with the band was to make a, a large venue feel like a small venue, to make the audience feel like they were just in a sitting room. All right. right. Just in as someone's kitchen, we listened to a band playing, and it worked very, very well. We just eased into it slowly. Um, they played a chateau in France in the, in, in the Alps, and it, and it worked out very, very well because the acoustics were fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it was it was quite an eye-opening experience for the band to see that they originally came with a, a lead singer who was recording in a trailer right. um, in a field on the side of a mountain in the west of Ireland. And it was just him, and he'd come out of rehab after three years of alcohol addiction oh. and drug addiction. And he was still only 21, 22. And he was recording and writing songs late at night in his trailer um, off recording equipment he had borrowed and had got money from for loans. And essentially these songs were coming out and he's putting up on his MySpace page. And he got a few of the local musicians together and they kept on beating the likes of Beyonce and Rihanna in the Irish MySpace charts mm -hmm. with no promotion or just word of mouth. And it kind of caught on after a while, and um, he sent in a demo to my radio station about a year ago. Um, and we, he did his four tracks on it, um, Try to Fight It, which is about alcohol addiction. Mm -hmm. uh, Something You Want to Hear, which was a kind of a song that was a pun, but also quite depressing. Mm -hmm. And um, Falling Faster. And three of those tracks, and another one uh, called Break Even, but three of those tracks uh, were instantly recognisable as their definitive sound. And I played one of them on radio in the morning and the flood of texts came through going who are these people where are they from how is where like where can i hear them right and um i found him on on facebook and 
I said, um, have you a recording deal? Have you ever played much live? And he was like, no, I usually just play in my trailer with my friends and we, wow. we record songs. And um, we met up last summer and we met him, like, at, we picked the most random location, we picked an aquarium. Uh, an aquarium? aquarium. Really? <laughs> yeah, we, we picked an aquarium and um, we sat down and we talked and I was like, you're, you know, you're in your, you're in your early 20s. Um, the musicians you're playing with are in your early 20s. You're from a small town in the west of Ireland. Like, you've played with some of the biggest names. Like, Snow, Snow Patrol have had dozens of UK top five albums and singles. Mm -hmm. And I, I said, does it not ever concern you that you've been playing with big names and have got exposure, but you still haven't gone anywhere with it? And he said that it's very hard for musicians to figure out how to get from just being a musician to getting into the business side of it. Because they're usually so focused on their art and their craft and mm -hmm. honing their songwriting skills they don't really know how to get their music from in his case his trailer um or from their own kitchen or from their own back bedroom so now you know